Good evening, everybody. This is Jake with Scooters Lawn Care. Uh, just wanted to hop on here real quick, make a video, and kind of question um, some of these fall services. We had a video about fall cleanups most recently, and uh, I wanted to get with everybody about aeration and overseeding. I want to hear from you guys for aeration and overseeding. Do you do you core aerate? Um, do you do some kind of vibratory aeration? Do you do spike aeration? And then how do you follow up that? How do you follow that up with an add-on? Because us personally, we do aeration with just strict overseeding with our Lesco spreader. Um, we get really good results with it. Uh, some people say that you don't get that great of results. They try to upsell you on slit seeding. We know that we have lawns that we've turned around with this method. Um, not saying that it was necessarily the aeration that made it really take off, but uh, we've had really good luck with it. We've had lawns that were really bare, and I mean, you, it's a it's a vivid change before the end of the season if you do it in the right time and get the germination quick enough. So our opinion is is that we have great luck with it. So we're gonna stick with that. Maybe eventually push to slit seating, but in our area, I know the extremely expensive amount people are charging for slit seating. We're talking fifty to a hundred dollars a thousand square foot in our area is kind of what they're charging for it. And I know that we can go out there still get good results and save the customer money and that's what it's all about you know i really truly feel that anything we do i want to know that we're saving the customer money i mean we've got to be making money but i want to know that we're doing something in the in the right of the customer we're we're, we're trying to do our due diligence as a service company to um best practices uh, affordable price try to keep our prices affordable i mean i know we're one of the more expensive people in town but um so yeah i guess that's kind of our deal aeration overseed and potentially with the idea of adding slit seating later on probably is going to be something for more of a lawn renovation um, even though like i said oh we've overseeded lawns we've killed them with roundup and had beautiful lawns kill the whole lawn overseed it as long as you top dress it right and you do the steps right you can have a beautiful lawn um, so yeah i would like to get a little feedback see what you guys are thinking see what you guys are doing any different new ideas uh, bring to the table because really you know like I said I'm always trying to bring more information about what I'm doing some of the thoughts I have and put that out there for people and and love to get feedback because we're all better together we're all better if I can share a piece of information with you it helps you and then if you have a piece of information you see something and let us know I mean that's that's it. That's what we all need to be in this for. So, uh, yeah, I. that's kind of where this video is headed. That's the kind of information I'd like to get some feedback on. Like I always say, like, share, subscribe. I would love to get more subscribers and love to reach more people and be able to share more information. Um, and then just a little quick insert at the end of this. Anthony was asking a question about his right 36 standard. Was... Um, what was his question? He was asking if the grass gobblers are dragging on the actual tire on the standard. And so I just put the standard bag on so I can show you that they do not drag on ours at all on our 36. Anthony, here you go. This is it. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll try to get down in here. But uh, that little gap right here where my finger's at, it doesn't get any tighter than that anywhere. Uh, maybe down towards the front a little bit, but there's uh there's definitely not the dragging issue that you were mentioning and um i just wanted to make sure i told you i'd try to answer that first thing but today has been just bonkers all day long so everybody uh look forward to hearing what you have to say have a great week let's get ready for fall it's coming soon our door hangers are in the mail have a good one jacob with scooters longer